Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. The international break is over. A much needed international break for the West Ham fans though, surely. It's been a traumatic start to the season. Four losses down, no points. And the only team in the 92 teams in the whole of the Football League to yet score a point. And it doesn't get any easier, guys. The next three games are very, very difficult. And it starts off this Sunday with our bogey team. Everton at Goodison Park, part of Super Sunday. Uh, Marco Silva's team currently sit in 8th, um, they've won 1, drawn 3, but their main players are not there guys, there's no Richarlison, there's apparently not going to be any Walcott as well, man who's got a fantastic record of scoring against West Ham all the way back to his Arsenal days. Um, last time they played guys, they drew 1-1 with Huddersfield in a pretty disappointing game. So, you know, they're a bit mixed form. They've only won one, but again, they are a bogey team. Danger men to look out for, guys, um, that still will be playing. Obviously, Gilfie Sigerson, fantastic player, great free kick taker, great set piece taker. And also, they've got Calvert Luton, who's on three goals in all competitions. So, it's not going to be easy, guys. Um, they do look quite a tasty little outfit as well. I'm quite glad Richardson did get himself sent off because um, I think he would have scored against us. Obviously, last season at London Stadium, we won 3-1. So we did beat them the last time we played them. But the last time at Goodison, 4-0. We all remember that game, Wayne Rooney hat-trick. Uh, Wayne Rooney scoring from the halfway line. I think it was voted goal of the season as well, wasn't it? Looking back at the stats over the years, guys, it looks like we beat Everton sort of every 10 years. So 2015, 2005. I think, it, and you look back, it's about 94, 95 season was the last time we beat him before that. So it's about every 10 years, we get a win up there. So if the stats are going the way they're going, it doesn't look we're like we're due to win there again, guys, to about 2025. So, um, yeah, it doesn't look good. And they are a bogey team that, that, that we never do well up there. Uh, like I say, the last one was the Pyatt one about three years ago. But uh, I've got no confidence in this team at all. I don't want to see it being too negative. Uh, looking at us anyway, uh, obviously Pellegrini went off to Chile apparently for some personal reasons. Um, he's back and hopefully doing some really good training with the boys. You know, I'm filming this video on Monday. He's got four days or five days to try and, you know, instill some sort of identity and instill some sort of formation that he's confident with going into this Everton game. Uh, I think we'd all like wouldn't mind, and we're not we wouldn't judge him if he went back to basics and went free at the back uh, with wing backs and just tried to shore that midfield up just to get some points on the ball to get the confidence back, and then maybe you know if we do start picking some points up, you can start experimenting with the formations again. Then when 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 you've got a confident team that score with goals and you know not conceding as many, um, there's definitely an issue in midfield. I don't, I don't know what I want to see, to be honest. I'd, I would like to see Anderson as centre. Uh, Yarmolenko would like to come on as well. You know, he did score. I know it was only a penalty, but he's getting fitter and fitter. He, he just needs minutes. He needs more and more minutes so he can get up his gas tank again. Um, but the main thing is, and I think people like Alan Shearer, Mark Lawrence, and all the pundits, you know, all the Sky Boys, Tony Cotty, Tony Gale, not just, you know, West Ham pundits as well, not just your, your basic, your main pundits, are all saying it. We need some desire, we need some running, we need some passion. At the end of the day, it's the same football pitch, it's the same football. Uh, it does not excuse if you don't run, and I totally uh, agree with that. If um, you know, if we lose and we go down fighting, you can um, you can take that a little bit, but you cannot take just not running, no desire, no tackles, no, and just basic passing. Just again, um, uh, there is a saying though: you can you play so bad that you end up playing good. And it can't get much worse than the Wolf games, guys, if I'm trying to pick some positives out and going forward in the season. Um, I, I, you know what? Because Walcott and uh, Richarlison ain't playing, I'm quite confident we could possibly get a draw up there. You know, they've had three draws, so we could, we could, if we score first, I think we could get a draw. You know, other days like that Wolves game, chances would have gone in and we may, you know, may have won that game not taking anything away from Wolves they deserve the win in the end um, but yeah Fabianski deserves his clean sheet as well doesn't he really uh, yeah massive game though because after that obviously Chelsea I think there's Brighton in there then Manchester United then it's Tottenham it does not get any easier so really need to start getting points on the ball early doors guys 
Um, let me know what you think, guys. What's your predicted line? Do you want to see Mark Noble come back in? Would you like to see Masawaku play at left wing back? Do you think we should go for it at the back? I did quite like Diop and Balbuen, but do they need another one in there? Should Declan Rice be playing as well? I think Declan Rice should be playing. How can he be called Hammer of the, Young Hammer of the Year and not even be sort of getting around the starting lineup again? I think um, harshly pulled off in the Liverpool game. Uh, you know, Liverpool uh, one of the best teams in the world at the moment, so you can't judge him on that first game. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go with a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go positive for once because I always put us to lose, you know. So, yeah, a 1-1. One, one. Uh, Paul's away at the moment, so there'll be no podcast for a couple of weeks. You know, it's his delayed honeymoon that he's going on. So, uh, hope, he, hope he has loads of fun out there, uh, wherever he's going. Until then, uh, I will be back with the Everton review and obviously all the uh, reviews and previews and any news that comes out. Guys, obviously, there's loads of floating news about the stadium at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I might do a little video about that. But um, yeah, until then, I'll see you in the review of the Everton game. Give us your score predictions, your starting 11s. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Until then, come in your minds, keep believing. Let's go.